Hello, my name is Dr. Abrahimian, and in this channel I go over problem solving strategies primarily in math competitions. In this video, we're going to go over problem A3 from 2003 Putnam math competition. So anytime I see tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, it makes sense to write down everything in terms of sine and cosine. Let's do that and see what we get. So we get sine of x plus cosine of x, sine of x over cosine of x, cosine of x over sine of x, 1 over cosine of x, and then 1 over sine of x. So this is going to be simplified, and this one also can be rewritten in a way that the denominators are the same. So we get sine of x plus cosine of x plus, both of these have the denominator of sine x times cosine x. Here we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x, and then we have sine of x plus cosine of x. So cosine squared plus sine squared, that's just 1, so we can simplify that. Now we also know that sine plus cosine squared can give us sine times cosine. So let's take that as u. u equals sine of x plus cosine of x. If we square that, we get 1 plus 2 sine x cosine of x. So that means sine x cosine of x is u squared minus 1 over 2. Let's rewrite everything in terms of u. We get u plus 1 plus u on top, and at the bottom we get u squared minus 1 over 2. This is u plus, we can factor the denominator as u plus 1 times u minus 1, so we get this. And we have to evaluate the minimum of absolute value of this quantity. Now, if you look at sine x plus cosine of x, we know what the maximum and minimum value of this expression is. One way of saying that would be to write this down as root 2 sine of x plus pi over 4. So this u is between negative root 2 and root 2. So let's look at the absolute value of this. Absolute value of u plus 2 over u minus 1. Now if you look at u minus 1, u minus 1 would be between negative root 2 minus 1 and root 2 minus 1. So we can rewrite this as u minus 1 plus 2 over u minus 1 plus 1. That allows me to use AMGM here. So there are two possibilities. Either u minus 1 is positive. In that case, u minus 1 plus 2 over u minus 1 by AMGM is greater than or equal to 2 root 2. And if I add 1, the expression u minus 1 plus 2 over u minus 1 plus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 2 root 2 plus 1. So that's the first case. If u minus 1 is negative, then u minus 1 plus 2 over u minus 1 is equal to, I can factor a negative sign, write it down as 1 minus u plus 2 over 1 minus u, and then we can use AMGM. Now, both 1 minus u and 2 over 1 minus u are positive, so we can say this is less than or equal to negative 2 root 2 by AMGM. After we add 1, we get absolute value of u plus 2 over u minus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 root 2 minus 1 by adding 1. Now, which one of these is smaller? Of course, 2 root 2 minus 1 is smaller. And we have to make sure that the equality can hold. So when does the equality hold? Well, equality holds if when we use the AMGM, we have the equality for AMGM. And this is the same thing as 1 minus u equals root 2, which tells us u would have to be root 2, uh, rather 1 minus root 2, which means root 2 sine of x plus pi over 4 would have to be 1 minus root 2. And of course, this is possible because 1 minus root 2 over root 2 is between negative 1 and 0. So therefore, the answer to the problem is 2 root 2 minus 1. And that brings me to the end of this video. I will see you in the next video.